Hey guys, it's Mega. And today we have a review and a build of the Raxi Nug 98, an ultra budget 1800 that will make anyone's wallet happy. But how many corners did this board really cut to be what it is? Let's find out. But first off, Rock did not sponsor this keyboard build. This is a build that was commissioned to me and Rock did not influence anything I say here, so everything is my opinion. So first off, the box is an interesting yellow color and inside it's kind of like RK keyboards where the board is on the bottom and the accessories on the top where you find the cable, a switch and keycap holder that probably everyone has seen now and of course the manual. So the board is covered in this plastic and it has the stabs already installed. Here's a bonus. They are screw-ins already. It's a great step towards enthusiast level. Although they are not lubed yet and they are dry AF. So that's why they rattle. If you like having free maracas, here they are. So I got these plastic pry tools actually for cars but i got them because the first time i built one of these plastic hook keyboards it was literal pain in my fingernails so i recommend getting one if you plan to open your roxy nug 98 or any plastic hook keyboard i mean it's hard to open for sure but i think the idea here is that you don't have screws stripping the plastic and it saves cost Inside you see a silicone dampener holding the battery which is a pretty huge battery at that. An awesome feature for sure. So the plate is held on by screws that go into the plate for some extra stability of course. And so that you don't have to worry about the PCB falling off when you want to change the switches. And anyway, this board is a gasket mount so it has that fair bit of bounce with it. So the stabs are pretty decent, kind of like Durox, but I had a bit of an issue with one of the stabs. There was a tab of plastic still attached to the slider causing it to get stuck. So I had to snip it off. But other than that, lubing and modding the stabs were quick and easy with Crytox 05 grade 0 and the usual balancing of the stab wires. If you guys want me to do a dedicated video on how I mod my stabs, let me know in the comments.
When installing and screwing in the plate and the PCB, I recommend screwing the corners in first. Because of the rotary encoder, the PCB doesn't sit flush on the desk. So it will swing back and forth while you're screwing in the PCB and the plate. So we got a rock polycarbonate clear case for all you RGB lovers out there. And of course, I've said it before and I'll say it again, these clip-in boards are really fun when you're putting them back together because you can just hear all the clicks when you hammer it back together. Gently, of course. But hey, look at that clearness and RGB puke. And since we are too lazy to show and watch everything, let's just do some movie magic and get the switches and keycaps on. So for this build, we have these Gateron Yellow Pros, which are lubed. And we have these Cherry Sage keycaps, which are such a beautiful mix of green. Personally, not into green, but the pastel green is so nice and calming, I could stare at this for hours and not get tired of it. In conclusion, the Roxy Nug 98 is a great board for the price. It includes all the foams and silicones you'll ever need to modify the sound and the look of the keyboard, and even the feel, to exactly what you want. Just make sure you have the necessary pry tools to help you when you're disassembling the board. Other than that, this board is a great deal for what it is. Here's the typing test. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here and have a good day.